8 p.m. on Saturday, January 1st. I'm starting my first book of January, which is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I'm actually on page 54 right now. The goal tonight is to finish this book. Seeing as it has like 450 pages, I'm thinking that's not gonna be doable. I'm obviously gonna try. I read about like one page a minute, so that means it'll take me like six hours to finish this book, so... We'll see. I did just wake up from a three hour nap. But yes, this is going to be my first read of 2022 and I'm so excited. I literally am loving it so far. I have been waiting to read a fantasy book for so long and this totally has fantasy in it. Let's see how far I can get tonight. I was planning to do an update when I got to 100 pages, but I just finished part one, so I just figured this would be a good place to talk to you guys. I have a feeling that the character that was just introduced in the very end of part one is going to be the one person that can remember her, just seeing how that last chapter went. And I'm really excited because I'm really ready for the book to pick up a little more. It's the next day. Today I'm going to try to read another 100 pages in Addie LaRue. I'm really liking the book, but still I'm like kind of waiting for the plot to pick up. It's still just building. Like I'm on page 115 and it's still talking about how she kind of is dealing with what's happening to her. I'm trying not to give spoilers. The book switches between present day and past and in the present day there isn't really like a point to the plot yet. So I'm hoping that within the next 100 pages we'll find out more with the plot. But I am really liking the book so I'm gonna try and get through to page 200 today. Oh my gosh, I'm on page 142. I just read the part where, this might be a little spoiler, so if you don't wanna watch this and skip ahead, I just read the part where Addie and Henry talk and she realizes that he's the one that can remember her. I'm just so excited for what's coming. I'm just really excited, oh my God, yay. I just read part two, about to start part three. Ah! Addie and the guy she has started talking to are so cute. She was able to tell him her name. Also, okay, I have a prediction. I think that the guy is just the darkness playing a trick on Addie. Like, I think that the guy is actually the darkness and he's just like making that guy remember so that way Addie will like fall for him. And then eventually I'm thinking that the darkness will reveal himself, Addie will be like crushed and then she'll give her soul to him finally. That's just a prediction, obviously, don't know if that's gonna happen but like in the parts in the past the darkness keeps reminding Addie like I'm the only person you can ever talk to I'm all you have and now all of a sudden this guy is here and I'm like hmm a little bit suspicious but I guess we'll find out part three seems like it's gonna be good it's called 300 years and three words made some mac and cheese and now I'm going to get back to reading oh wait I really like how each of the parts kind of starts out with this art piece and then the author ties it into the chapter or the section I think that's really cool and I really like that I just finished part three. Oh my god, I'm so excited to read part four now. I read page 222 and I'm going to keep reading because I'm so excited to see what happens next. But oh my god, I can't believe how part three just ended. An update, it's now 9 p.m. and I just got to part five. I have like 150 pages left, I think. And we just learned about the guy and the deal that he made. I took a little break to shower and get a little snack. I have been reading so much today. I've been reading basically the whole day. My eyes were going like buggy. So I need a little break and now I'm ready to continue reading. I'm scared for what's coming because I've watched another reading vlog of this book and the girl was like crying at the end. So now I'm like, what's coming? know this business about the ring like how she keeps freaking out every time it almost goes on her finger i'm on page 324 and there's this quote talking about luke and she's like perhaps 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 but she will never know so like did she somehow do something to him so like he can't hurt her anymore i want to know this whole ring business
All right, it is now Tuesday. The last night I filmed was Sunday night, so I didn't get to read yesterday. And I have 80 pages left of this book. I just want to finish it. It is currently 12.30 and I have an hour till I have to get ready to go to work. So that means I have to like speed read if I want to get through this. Yeah, let's just get reading so I don't waste any time. <laughs> Just wanted to tell you guys i got to page 368 and i just found out about the ring and it wasn't as exciting as i was hoping i thought that like if she put the ring on she would like die or something because she was acting like it was such like a terrible terrible thing to put it on so it's kind of anticlimactic in my opinion <laughs> I just read page 379. I know it's coming. I know what is coming. It's not good, guys. It is not good. Oh, no. I was correct. I did know what was coming. This is gonna be a spoiler, so watch out. I'm at the part where Addie is about to go meet Luke for the meeting thing where if she wins he could grant Henry like the rest of his life. I just think what's gonna happen is that she's gonna get there and she's gonna die instead of him. It's just gonna be bad. And I feel like he's gonna be like, well, if you want Henry to live, give me your soul and then she's finally gonna say yes. That's not good. Just a prediction, but that's what I think is gonna happen. Page 398. This is not something I saw coming. Nothing bad has happened yet in present day, but I got a little more past info. That was not something I expected. I'm on page 403 and I have to go to work. Nothing sad has happened yet. Obviously, like I said, I think I have a little bit of a prediction of what is going to happen, but we'll have to wait and see until after I get home. It is 8.30, home from work. We're gonna finish this book. I think this is the chapter. gonna happen I haven't read it for sure but just the line um henry she says i haven't told you how it ends i don't like it why does this always happen i literally have four pages left my camera's dying so i'll just recap with you guys when i finish the last chapter <laughs> All right, I've taken some time to regroup. It's been like five minutes since I finished. That last page, I did not see that last page coming. And that was a good little twist, a tiny twist at the end. I'm gonna tell you guys my thoughts really quick and show you my book bullet journal. I just colored in the first book red because this was a five star read for me. Inside my January section, I wrote some notes next to where I'm going to paste the book cover. I loved the alternating timelines in this book, how it switched between the past and the present. Addie and the guy's relationship this guy is like a five-star book boyfriend. My favorite quote, books she has found are a way to live a thousand lives or to find strength in a very long one. That's the first book in this reading vlog. I'll see you when I start the next one, probably tomorrow. <laughs> Hey guys, it's been a couple days since I have finished Addie LaRue. I actually have started a new book already. I am reading Shadow and Bone. Right now I'm on page 135. These might be a little bit of spoilers, so if you want to skip, I'll put a timestamp. I'm just going to tell you guys where I'm at in the book. Alina has gone to the little palace with the Darkling. She's about to start like training or something. I'm going to try and read like a chapter or two before I go to bed. I'm really like the book so far i really like how this author just jumps right into the action like the first two chapters there was already a fight scene like action scene happening i was like pulled right into the story my camera's dead so i'm recording this on my phone but i was just reading shadow and bone and oh my god i just read the plot twist in this book i did not see that one coming i was a little skeptical of this person i will say that but i didn't anticipate this plot twist coming now i'm a little excited because i think the main character is about to pop off and really do some damage and i'm excited i'm about to have work but i'm going to try and finish this book either tonight or tomorrow it is now later the same day i plan to finish this book tonight i have 100 pages left i'm also really excited because it just like got to a plot twist so i'm really excited to see what happens now okay i'm 
whispering because everyone else in my house is asleep. So I just read chapter 19 and at first I was like, yes, because you know who was kissing on you know who. But by the end of the chapter, now I'm mad because everything went to shit. We'll see how they can fix this in only two more chapters. Okay, wait, I'm at chapter 22 and if what's supposed to happen actually happens, I don't know how I'm gonna continue reading. My heart is like, beating out of my chest. I just finished the book. Oh my gosh, it was really good. I think I would get four stars. Just because like five stars is like, it ends with us. I'm so excited to move on to the second book in the series already. I can't wait to see where it goes from here. reading my third book this month. The next book in the Shadow and Bone series, it's Siege and Storm. I'm on page 100 and this one is like 400 something pages so I gotta get going on this baddie. So right now I'm gonna read this. I don't know how much I'm gonna get to reading because it's currently 12 o'clock. So I'm on my third book of January and I don't know if I've included it in this video yet. I'm reading the second book in the Shadow and Bone trilogy, Siege and Storm. I am currently on page... Oh wait, I talked about this last night. I'm now on page 160. I know tomorrow I'm going to be filming a 12-hour reading vlog, so I'm going to be able to read during that, but I wanted to start it with a new book. I'm really going to try. I'm here. I need to read all of this. I figured I would just update you guys where I am in the book. I haven't really talked about the story aspect of this book yet at all. I'm at the part where Alina and Mal are back in Ravka. I feel like that's not a huge spoiler. Alina just made a deal with someone and I'm excited to see where it goes from here. I heard from some people that the second book in this series was boring but so far I'm not bored by this book yet. I like this new character of the privateer. I really like him. So like I said the next day I recorded a 12 hour reading vlog where I finished reading Siege and Storm. I finished reading the first book in the Bridgerton series, The Duke and I, and I also started reading my book of the month book, Reckless Girls. If you want to see those books, I'll be linking that video in the description and you can totally check it out. But for this reading vlog, I only started one more book and here's that. Hey guys, I am back at school and ready to start reading another book. I'm moving on to my last book, which this would be my fifth book of Jan- wait no, my sixth book of January. So if I can finish this within the next four days, then I'll have read six books in January, which is like really ahead of my schedule but currently I'm on page 30 I just started it and this book actually just came out yesterday so this is an art copy that me and Fran got in the mail it's called The Appeal by Janice Hallett the entire book is told in like emails and text messages it is a thriller or like mystery type book I'm assuming so I'm really excited to see how this book plays out I'm really liking it so far let's just get to reading mm -hmm. 